feel free. If you want to sit, you can sit. You know, let's just bring in the beauty and the love and the support that we have in this beautiful community right here. We all kind of keep each other going, right? Logging in and seeing names and, and faces week after week. Let's inhale and fill the low belly and feel the breath, fill the chest and the throat. Then let the breath go. Inhale, fill the low belly, the chest, the throat. And then let that breath go. Continue with the three-part yogic breathing, our dirga breath. Grounding into the space. And then perhaps bringing to your mind and your heart space, someone that you deeply love, someone you care about, visualize their face and maybe feel the presence of their energy. It's kind of the time of year where we focus on giving. <clears throat> And so today, let's make our practice a gift to that person. Dedicating the breath, the movement, the intention to that person that we love. Just this giving and receiving in our space today. Maybe place a hand on the stomach and a hand on the heart. And feeling the presence of that person, their energy, their unique space that they create and they hold. Combining that with your space this morning. And send your love to them right now. And then hugging the knees into the chest, rub the low back on the floor, rocking side to side. And then place your feet on the ground. And let's inhale and just bring the hands above overhead. Maybe shimmy the shoulder blades up towards the top of the mat, stretching out the back, reaching through the fingertips. Stretching through the armpits, through the side body, feet are on the ground. Maybe going over to the right side to stretch the left side body. And then over the other way, stretching the right side body. And now come back to the middle, reach the fingertips towards the front of the mat. And then bring them to your side, maybe floating them over across the sky or just out to the side. And then let's move into those bridge flows. So with the feet, in a comfortable distance from the glutes and then grounding into the floor. Let's inhale, lifting the glutes up. Let's pause at the top, the hips lifted. And then we'll inhale, lower down. Exhale, drive up. And then inhale, lower. Exhale, lifting the glutes. Inhale, lower. And let's exhale, lift the glutes, maybe float the hands up and back, reaching over the top of the mat, and then lower down. And then at your own pace, maybe you pause at the bottom or at the top. Let's just move through a couple bridge flows with the arms if you want, but just moving at your own pace. Connecting to the breath with each movement.
And then next time you get to the bottom, pause at the bottom. Draw those knees into the chest just so we get that low back flat and then reach the legs to the sky. Let's bring our arms out like a T. And we did this last week. We're going to do it again. We're going to bring in that awareness to the low belly. Let those knees or the legs and the knees, I guess, all the way out to the side. You can bend the knees so that knees go out or you can keep the legs long. We're going to warm up the core in this way today. So let's exhale to bring the feet through the middle. The legs go over to the left side. Pausing at the left side. Maybe the legs hover over the floor. Or they lay on the ground. Up through the middle, exhale. Over to the right with control as much as we can. Dropping to the side. Exhale through the middle again. Over to the left. Nice job, guys. Yeah. And over to the right again. And then we'll go over to the left for the last kind of move. Nice job. And now back to the middle. Point, legs point to the sky. Let's point those toes to the sky to stretch out the front of the shins. Now flex the feet towards the face. Point the toes. Flex to the face. And now point. Exhale, flex. And now let's bend the knees, draw the feet to the ground again, roll over to one side, and we're going to come up to a tabletop. Maybe moving with whatever way is going to bring awareness into our space. So that means when you get to tabletop, you swing your hips a little bit and then you come to downward facing dog. Give yourself a few moments to just come into this new shape. We've been on our backs and then come to the hands and knees. So a few more breaths. Wherever you're at. And now let's meet in the tabletop, guys. So lowering down the knees if you're in your down dog, getting your hands underneath the shoulders. Maybe you come onto the fists or you come onto the palms. And from here, let's ground those knees and we'll inhale to extend the right leg back. And with that right leg back, let's find the hands nice and strong. Bend the elbows lower down the nose to the ground and then exhale, press up. Let's do that two more times. Exhale, lower, bending the elbows, and then pressing up, and then lower down. And now come back up. Keep those hands firmly rooted. Let's lower down those toes to the ground and bring that right leg back up, maybe in line with the glutes, and then lower down, and then back up. And tuck that pelvis so the back that low back isn't um, kind of rounded. So tuck the pelvis and then lower the toes down and then bring it up and then down and then back up. Let's exhale, bring the knees to meet together. Sit back on your heels. Glutes to the heels, baby nose to the floor. Finding child's pose to stretch out that back. And then visualizing and feeling the space and the energy of that person that you love. Sending them whatever they need today. We'll exhale, roll back up to tabletop. <clears throat> Send the left leg next along behind you. Maybe keep that heel in line with the hip and then tuck the pelvis so that low back doesn't have that round. And then we'll bend the elbows again. You can either stay still or you can bend those elbows and lower the nose down and we'll press up. We'll do that three times. Keeping that leg nice and long and extended. Now pause at the top, and then we'll lower the toes down and then bring that heel up. Lowering down and up. Getting this lower body active now, along with the upper body. Lower down that one more time, bring it up. And now draw the knee in. 
Now let's wiggle the hips to the right and to the left. So kind of just let those hips swing out side to side. And now drop the sits bones back and go over to the right and roll the shoulders forward and around. Kind of making that circle with the heart like we do sometimes. And warming up shoulders and wrists and then switch directions on the other way. Around and around. Now let's find stillness. Let's step the right foot through the hands. The left knee is lower. Ground the left hand. Let's just reach that right hand to sky. Nice. Good job. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the right hand either on the outside of, that, of the right foot or on the inside. And reach the left hand up. And then bring the left hand down. Place the right hand up. Just moving through some twists here with a little bit of quickness to create a little heat. Bring the right hand down, outside of the foot or inside, left hand to sky. And then exhale, lower the left hand, right arm reaches. Let's pause here with that right hand to the sky. Nice job. Breathe in. Maybe we exhale to press into that left hand, curl the toes of the left foot under and rise. Lift in the left knee or keep that left knee lowered. Extending through our revolve side angle. Let's breathe in. Exhale, sweep the right hand down and frame the foot. And then step the right foot back. Let's find plank pose. Breathe in. Lifting the pelvis. Hips are lifted. Exhale, lower down. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Bring the tops of the feet to the floor. And now let's do what we've kind of been doing lately too. We rock side to side. So swaying to the left and the right. Shoulders waking up. The thighs hover over the earth. And then exhale, press it back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. And then be here five breaths. You can bend the knees a lot or a little. Maybe you change the angles of the hands. Or maybe you just stand still in your down facing dog. Breathing in and out. Finding some presence and stillness in our downward facing dog. And one more breath in. Let the breath go. Now inhale, step the left foot forward, lower the right knee down. With that right hand on the inside of the foot, or always you can bring it to a block. Bring that left hand to sky, twisting towards the left. And then bring the left hand down on the outside of the foot or inside, reach the right hand up. Maybe noticing the side might feel different. Maybe you need a block on the side to do me before. And bring the right hand down, left hand up. Left hand down, right hand up. Good, guys. Yes, now bring the right hand down and we'll pause here, right hand down, left hand up. And now curl the toes of the right foot under and lift that back knee if it feels good for your body today. Breathe in and breathe out. Exhale, sweep that left hand down, frame the foot, set the left foot back, plank pose. And if you want, you come on to the tops of the feet, like we did a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Coming onto the tops of the feet instead of the balls of the feet. And now lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Then inhale, Ordna Mukha Svanasana. And now let's do our sway, side to side. Giving some warmth to those shoulders. Breathe in. And now exhale back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Nice, strong, down facing dog. Five more breaths here. Maybe close the eyes. And be in that space with that person. Just giving them the beauty of your practice today. Three more breaths. And then your final exhale. Now ground the feet, feel the hands grounded into the floor. Maybe bring the feet a little bit wider. We're going to reach that left hand towards the right shin for our three-legged downward facing dog. 
You might notice that you sway to the right side. Try to keep the hips in the middle. So left hand reaching for the right chin. Breathe in. And then exhale, bring the left hand back down to the earth. And then inhale, reach the right hand to that left calf. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, bring that right hand back to the front of the mat. Now walk the feet towards the hands. Maybe you move quickly, maybe you move slowly, but we're all going to meet in a forward fold. Maybe grab opposite elbows, bring your feet hip distance apart, maybe a little wider, and then let's sway side to side. So maybe the arms, we grab opposite elbows and the hands come on the side, towards the side of the foot, side of the mat, kind of swinging around, breathing in and out. And now let's bend the knees, sit down in chair pose. You can keep any variation with the arms. Maybe you find eagle arms. I know some of you here are really fond of eagle arms. Maybe you have your arms out wide. We're gonna sit in our chair and connect to ourselves, finding what's true to us. And then sending that out to that person that we love. Breathe in. Now exhale, let's fold it forward. So we're at Uttanasana again, heel toe those feet together. So the feet are kind of under the heart, ground the right foot, but send the left foot to sky. Now maybe in our splits here, our standing splits, our hands are down. We can bring the right hand to the ankle. Maybe we bring the left hand to the ankle, or maybe the hands just stay down. So maybe we're on one foot, maybe we're on a foot and two hands. Breathe in. Now let's exhale to bend the knee. You can bring the hands down, step that foot back. And it's a ball of left foot. Let's rise up to crescent lunge. Inhale. And exhale. Find some cactus arms or goal post arms. Breathe in. Exhale, extend the arms out like a T. Inhale, bring the arms up like a Y. And now hinge it forward, arms out like a Y, framing the head, and we hinge at the waist. Inhale, exhale. Now breathe in. Now exhale, let's lift that left foot off the ground, rising up onto that standing left, or standing right leg. And then we're finding Vira Vajrasana three. Maybe the arms are in a Y, maybe you bring them to reach back. So find any variation with the arms now. Yeah, and then just like we did before, when we were in our little bird dog, you can maybe lower that left toe to the ground and then bring it back up. Keeping that ankle in line with the hips. And maybe you do that a couple more times. Just tapping that toe down. Some awareness on the low belly. And the last time down, when you reach up, soar and lighten that heart. Exhale, fold forward. Maybe you bring your hands to that ankle or you come into standing split with your hands on the floor. Breathe in. Breathe out. And now the hands are on the ground already. Bring the hands to the ground. Set that left foot back. And now find plank pose. The right leg goes back. The right leg feeling so much relief, right? Let's breathe in. Exhale, lower down the heart, bringing the elbows. And then rise up with the heart, or the Mukhasanasana. And now exhale back, Adho Mukhasanasana. So we'll be here for five breaths, or maybe you find child's pose, bringing the knees nice and wide, and sitting back. So wherever you choose to kind of rest in, offer that to yourself, and be there, fully present. Two more breaths. For those of us in child pool, just come up to downward facing dog. And now in downward facing dog, step that left foot forward. So our right foot is back behind us. And let's exhale, rise up, right foot to sky. So we start with our hands and our hands down for our standing splits. 
And if you want to transition one hand to that left ankle and then the other, maybe you keep both hands down. But folding over the leg, right foot reaching for sky. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now let's bring hands down if they're not there already. Step that foot back. Grounding the right foot on the ball of the foot, rise up in your crescent lunge. Yes, let's interlace our hands behind the back this time. Reaching back behind us. Maybe we bring our hands to our hips and the elbows try to meet behind the back. Pinching the shoulder blades together. And then we'll hinge halfway, engage the core on the side body. Breathe in. Inhale. And then we'll exhale, bring our arms up to the side. Any variation with the arms as we lift up and soar into our rear in the three. That right leg lifting up. Maybe it's all the way in line with that hip or maybe it's down a little bit. And then when you're ready, you can begin to kind of pulse that foot to the ground and lift it up. And just tap. And lift, really nice job, guys. What's really beautiful when we dedicate this practice to other people is that they're gonna love whatever we give. So sometimes we might focus on how things look or how we feel, but when there's so much love behind it, we're just sending love. So let this practice be that expression of love and joy. And now let's lift that foot high again, in line with the hip. Reach the arms forward, and now exhale, fold forward, coming into standing splits. And then we'll step that right foot to meet the left, and then we'll sit back in the chair, arms up, maybe out to the side, as if they were gonna run for you, and you could give them a big hug, let's inhale. And now exhale, bring hands to prayer in front of our hearts. Really nice, we'll be here in our Chair pose for a breath. And then another one. Breathe in. Now exhale, open those arms out nice and wide. Ground that left foot, step the left foot, right foot back, pivot the heel down, and pivot the left foot towards the long edge. And sigh as we extend our energy outward and downward. And let's rest in our extended mountain pose. Maybe close the eyes. Inhale, reach the hands to the sky above the head. Palms meet. Nice. Gather that love and bring it down towards the heart. In front of the heart, breathe in. And now let's exhale. Side lunge over to the right. Skandasana. Really nice, guys. And then over to the left. Exhale. over to the right side. And now here on the right side, let's pivot that right foot towards the short edge. So our feet, our right foot towards the short edge, left toward the long edge, opening the hips and the heart towards the long edge, and then bring your arms out, and voila. Here, Bajrasana two, inhale. Exhale, that left hand down, that back leg, right arm reaches for sky. Bending the front leg as much as is comfortable, inhale. Now exhale, rolling all the way through. The right hand can hover on the inside of the right leg and reach up to sky. The left hip sitting back. Left arm reaching up, inhale. And now exhale, bring that left hand towards the right hand, pivot on the back of that left foot, bring the hands on the inside of the right foot. Now pivot the right foot towards the long edge of the mat, towards the right side. We'll come into our lizard pose. So drop that right knee out, and then maybe you're on the pinky edge of your right foot. The hands can be on the inside of the foot. And you can also lower down that left leg. We're gonna be here for about five breaths. So let's really find some stillness. Maybe with the breath to support us. Just dropping into this shape. 
Nice job, guys. Two more breaths. And now breathe in. Exhale, bring that right foot down. Curl the toes of the left foot under and lift the knee if you have it lowered. Now walk the hands towards the long edges. We pivot on to the left foot. So the left foot comes down. Now pivot the right foot towards the long edge. And then here we are in a wide legged forward fold. Exhale. Prasarita Padukanas. Let's breathe in. Now on an exhale, bring the right hand under the heart space. The left hand reaches for the right shin. Maybe we twist a little bit towards the right with that right hand grounded. The left hand on the right leg. Inhale. And exhale, bring the left hand under the heart. Now the right hand reaches for the left shin, twist towards the left. Breathing in and out. And then exhale, the hands come under the heart. Bend the knees. Maybe you have to bring the feet a little bit closer together to bend and slowly rise up. Shoulders roll over the hips and the head comes up last. Nice job, guys. Feet face towards the long edge. Left foot, left leg bends over to the left. Skandasana. Yes. Good. Over to the right. Over to the left. Let's pause, remembering why we're here. And then pivot that left foot towards the short edge. We rise up. Virabhadrasana two. Nice. Inhale, yeah, you got it. Extend those arms out. And then exhale, that right hand comes down that right leg, left hand to sky. Sending the heart open by the left sh shoulder going back. Bending the left leg, inhale. And then exhale, cartwheel it through the left hand, floating on the inside of the left leg, right onto sky. Inhale. Breath in. Let the breath go as that right hand comes down towards the left hand. Look down at the hands towards that foot. Ground the hands, pivot onto the ball of the right foot. And now bring that left foot towards the left side of the mat. Send the left knee out. Come onto this pinky edge side of the left foot. And then here we are, lizard pose. Breathing in and out. You can lower that right knee if you want and lift the top of the right foot to the ground. You can lift, keep that right leg lifted. Breathe in, exhale, let the breath go. Now inhale, exhale to lift that right knee up. If it was lowered, bring the left foot to the ground. And now inhale to find plank pose, Palakasana. Nice job, guys. Inhale, and then exhale, press the earth away. Let's stay in plank pose for just a couple more breaths. You can always lower the knees if you want. Let's inhale. You can always come under the tops of the feet if you want. Be here one more breath. We keep adding breaths. <laughs> Let's inhale. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Ordhva Mukha Svanasana. You can exhale back to Adho Mukha Svanasana or if you want to sway side to side, giving those shoulders a little more awareness and love, you can do our Upper facing dog sway. And then we'll exhale back to Adho Krishnasana whenever you want. You can stay here or you can lower down to puppy pose. Knees down over the hips, hands forward for puppy pose. Or if you want to be in downward facing dog, stay there. And breathe in and out. Inhale, and exhale. Our last breath in, 
Exhale, if you're in downward facing dog, lower it onto your forearms for dolphin pose. If you're in puppy, lift the hips up for dolphin. So we're meeting in our dolphin pose. Forearms to the ground, palms down, balls of the feet on the earth, maybe lift the heels. And now let's inhale, roll forward. So maybe we dip the nose down between the thumbs and then back up to dolphin. You can stay in dolphin, or if you want to inhale and roll forward again, lowering that nose down to the ground and exhale, pressing up and back. We'll do that two more times. We can inhale, shoulders come forward, kind of over the wrist, nose to the ground, press it up and back. And last time, inhale, rolling forward, nose to the ground, and then press it back. Dolphin pose. And let's lower down the knees, send the legs back. Lower down onto the stomach. And then you can either lift the heart for sphinx, elbows under the shoulders. Or maybe you want to extend the arms kind of out like a wide palms down. And just let the arms rest, but holding the heart up with the, the back body. So you can rest on your forearms for sphinx. Or arms out like a wide for seal. Let's breathe in. If you're in sphinx, maybe think about pulling the elbows energetically towards the hips. If you're in seal pose with the arms out like a Y, just feel that low back active, lifting the heart to shine forward. Let's breathe in. And now exhale, however you want to come down with your forehead on your hands, bring your hands down and rest your head. And then feel the belly pressing into the floor. And breathe out. And breathe in. And now exhale, let the breath go as we lift the heart. Now either bring the elbows underneath the shoulders, press the hands down, shine that heart forward and through for sphinx, or maybe bring those arms out like a Y, palms down, that low rib cage on the ground, let the heart for seal. Inhale, and exhale at your own pace. Let's breathe in. If you're in space pose, lift back to dolphin. If you're in seal pose, bring those elbows in and shoulder, elbows under the shoulders, lift the hips up and back. Here we are, Ardha Pincha Mayurasana. Dolphin pose. Ground the balls of the feet, ground the forearms, ground the palms, and then we'll inhale, lift that right leg to sky, bend the knee, stack the hip if you can. Might not be as open as going downward facing dog, and that's okay. We're just gonna open up the hip a little, breathe in. And then exhale, lower the right foot down. Binding dolphin again. And then when you're ready, lift the left leg to the sky, bend the knee, stack the hip. Opening up the hips. Exhale, lower down the foot, walk those feet back. And before you know it, you walk those feet so far back that you're in the forearm plank. You can lower down the knees, lift the heart. Or you can keep those hips lifted. A couple more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, lower down those knees. Let's walk the hands underneath the shoulders. Send those sits bones towards the heels. So you're kind of sitting in a child's pose with your hands are lifted. Now bring the hands towards the feet and now rock forward. The crown of the head finds the floor. Here's our rabbit pose. So our forehead is kind of in line with our knees. This is our inversion. You can even interlace the hands behind the head and pull those hands to the sky. But make sure you have that weight in your knees. You're not jamming the weight into the crown of your head to hurt your neck. The weight's in the knees. Couple more breaths. Inhale. And now exhale, sit back in child's pose or maybe you want to just sit back on your heels, 
for your hero pose. So you can stack the shoulders over the hips and sit back, or you can sit on some blocks, or you can find child's pose. Be the breath. Inhale. Exhale. And now sitting back on the heels, if you're not there already, lifting the hips, so stack the hips over the knees. So knees are on the ground, tops of the feet are on the ground. Nice. Inhale to reach the arms up to the sky, grounding the knees, creating space from the hips to the armpits, armpits to fingers. Nice. Inhale. Exhale, sink those shoulders down. Uh huh. Inhale, bring the right foot forward. Curl the ball of the left foot under. Let's lift up to crescent. Really nice. Now lower down that back knee and then lift right back up. Exhale, lower down that knee. Pause here at the bottom. We're going to lift all the way through into eagle. So ground the right foot. Bring that left knee up. Hinge forward at the waist, reaching with the fingers. Reaching the heart up, the back body up. Stand on that right leg. Now bring the left knee up and over the right leg. Yes, nice. And then the arms come forward, the left hand on the bottom, right arm on top. And then find your eagle arms. And then that left foot, it can be behind the calf or it can be at the side. Let's breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. Now exhale, unwrap that leg. But keep the leg and the foot lifted. And we're going to exhale, hinge it forward. Virabhadrasana three. Breathe in and out. Extend through the, that heel, guys. And keep that back as flat as you can. And now let's exhale, bring the elbows towards the knees. We round up in a little ball and then extend out with that foot and the arms. Exhale to curl up in a ball and then extend that left leg out. Last time, curl up like a ball. Pause in this little ball curl. Inhale. Now exhale, either find eagle legs or find a chair with eagle arms. So you can either wrap that foot across the leg or you can ground it. Yes, we have options. Steady mind with a steady breath. <laughs> Let's breathe in. Dedicating this to the person that we love, sending them all our energy. One more breath. Exhale to ground that foot if it's not there already. If you're in chair, straighten those legs. Everybody rise up and then release those hands. And then let those wings come down to the side. Good. Close the eyes if you want. Roll the shoulders and back and down. Ground the energy from the heart. Feel the beating of the heart ground through the feet like a drum. Grounding us into the earth. Our heartbeat grounding us through the soles of our feet. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath in. Let's exhale, sit back in our chair. Let's just lift our arms up towards the sky. And then the left foot grounds and that right foot steps back. Yes. And then lower that right knee down and lift it up. And then lower. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, lower, pause here at the bottom. We're gonna spring up through our Virabhadrasana three into our eagle. We breathe in. Exhale, lift that knee up, hinge forward, fingers reach to bring us forward and then that right foot comes over the left leg. Find your eagle legs and the right hand underneath and the right arm and the left arm on top. Find your eagle arms and exhale. Grounding for a breath. And then another, that heartbeat, grounding us into the roots of the earth. Let's 
inhale. Now exhale, unwrap that leg, send the right leg back nice and strong on the left leg, extend through that right heel. And then when you're ready, begin to curl up into a ball, knees to elbow, or knee to elbows, and then back. Moving with your breath, knowing that this side of the body might be different, Maybe two more ball curls. And pause in that little ball at the end of your second one. Pausing. And then you can lower that right foot down into chair with eagle arms or you can find eagle legs. Breathe in. If you're in eagle legs, ground that foot and rise. If you're in chair, rise. Let the arms go. Open up wide. Pull the arms out as if you're getting ready to give that person you love a big hug. Now gather all that love into your heart space. Hands in prayer in front of the heart. And exhale. Let's pause in our mountain pose. And now giving this gift of your practice to that person, just take a few moments. And if there's a asana that you really like, that's one of your favorites, Let's just take some time now to move through those favorites that we didn't get to together as a class. And it's gonna be different for all of us, so find whatever makes your heart sing and gift it to that person energetically with that intention of love and all behind it. So go ahead and take some moments to do that. And then I'll bring us back together in just a little while. Letting it be an expression of yourself for that person. It's unique to you and that person. Nice job, guys. If you're doing an asana that requires you to switch sides, go ahead and switch sides right now. Oh, five more breaths, and then we'll meet together. So after you've finished your little mini gift practice of meeting Tadasana, with our hands in front of our hearts, grounding through the soles of our feet. Let's feel this connection to one another. We're all moving through a similar practice. This expression is different, but we're all here together. We all made a choice to roll out our mats and be here together today. Let's feel that connection. And inhale, bring your arms up to sky, maybe a slight back bend, and then fold it forward, Uttanasana. And then inhale, let's step back to plank one last time. Palakasana, strong arms, strong shoulders. And then exhale, float it back, Adhanasana. And now reach that right leg up to sky, bend the knee, stack the hip. And then we'll inhale, bring that knee towards that right wrist. The right foot might come towards the left wrist. It might be kind of angled towards the hip and then lower down that left leg. You're gonna fold over the leg. 
for pigeon. And if you don't like to do it on the front of your body, you go over onto your backs and bring that right ankle just below that left knee and find your figure four. So whether you're on your backs or on your stomachs, let's just wind it down. Feel your beating heart connecting with the earth, whether you're on your back, if you're on the front, just feel it beating towards the earth. Next exhale, just start to think about coming out of the shape. And we'll breathe in. And then we'll exhale. If you're on your back, extend your legs long or up to the sky, let the legs fall apart. And then bring that left leg on top of the right. If you're on your stomach, lift up the heart. Kind of press it back. And we can find downward facing dog if you want. You want to move your upward facing dog to open up those hip flexors after pigeon. You can do that. If you're on your back, find that figure four. If you're in your downward facing dog, lift the left hip, stack it over the right hip, and then bring that left knee towards the left wrist. <clears throat> you can settle onto that right leg on your stomach for pigeon. You can bring blocks under your arms for pigeon. And if you prefer to be on your back, then just bring that left ankle top of that thigh. Use this shape to connect with our hearts, to connect with ourselves. All visualizing ourselves coming out of the shape. If you're on your back, bring your feet to the ground, knees to the sky. If you're on your stomach, then lift it, lifting the heart from the toes under, binding down or facing dog. And maybe you roll forward to upward facing dog to stretch out the fronts of the legs. And let's roll over onto our backs with our feet to the ground, knees to the sky. So we're kind of setting up for that bridge. But if you have a block handy, let's press those feet into the ground, lift the hips, and then stack that sacrum on a block for supported bridge. And if you don't have a block, roll a blanket under there and just elevate the hips a little bit. Let's get those shoulder blades under the chest. You can bring the feet out mat distance apart, the knees come together, or you can keep those feet hip distance. Let's fill the belly with breath. And the chest and the throat. And exhale. Fill the belly, chest, and the throat. Exhale. Fill the belly, chest, 
And then finding natural breath. If it's comfortable to be in this supported bridge, stay here, but bring that right arm across the chest and the left hand comes kind of on the right shoulder or on the right kind of bicep area and just let your left hand, the weight of the hand be on the arm and just open the shoulder up just a little bit as it dangles across the body. If it's not comfortable with, with the block, just remove the block and, and come onto your back with your feet on the ground and you can bring your arms like this. Exhale to release the left hand from the right arm. Let the right arm come to the side. Left arm comes down. Maybe shimmy those shoulders. Get those shoulder blades on the earth. And then we'll exhale to drape the left hand across, left arm across the chest, and that right hand onto the bicep or onto that left shoulder or the left elbow. That opening across the shoulder blade across that left shoulder. Relaxing the face and the eyes. Now release the right hand from the arm. Let the arms come out like a T or maybe at the side, letting the shoulder blades rest on the earth. Press the feet into the floor, lifting the hips enough just to slide the block out from underneath, lowering the back onto the ground. You can hug the knees into the chest for Apanasana. Now maybe you want to find a happy baby. Maybe you want to bend those knees and drop them off to the right side and then over to the left. Maybe you want to find a reclined butterfly. So bringing some closure to our movement any way that you'd like before finding Savasana. And whenever you're ready for Shavasana, let yourself relax into your final resting pose of the day. Let the backs of the heels really sink into the earth. And then let the feet fall wherever gravity takes them out to the side. Maybe they roll in. Let the backs of the legs really melt down into the mat. The ankle and knee joints relax. Just 
the sits bones ground, then sink into the ground just like the heels of the body. Back to the shoulders, rest. The low back, mid back, upper back, rest into the earth. The back of the head is heavy, rest. Your face relaxes, letting all expression be lifted off your face. Relaxing the jaw, relaxing the mouth, giving yourself permission to allow that gentle drool to drip out the corner of the mouth as you relax and soften into rest. As you rest and let go, your soul is relaxing and connecting to the greater whole. your connection to the divine, to the greater whole, to your community as you rest. Let your heart be light. You're welcome to stay in Shavasana for the next few minutes. We want to sit up and maybe find a silent seated position, closing in silent meditation. Or if you have a pranayama of your choice, perhaps moving through a few rounds of breath, just closing however you want to gift world.
And as we sit, perhaps saying the mantra, Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Sending that to each other, to the person who you love. Let's exhale, inhale, exhale. Oh, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Oh. Namaste.